Average Guy Air Guns here again with another backyard hunting video. And here's the warning. Warning. This video contains images of animals being legally shot with air rifles. This video is not intended to sensationalize the killing of animals. This video is intended to show you the effectiveness of air rifles as pest control and hunting tools. Any slow motion video is intended to prove the accuracy of the rifles I use and to show where proper shot placement should be. There is a link in the description to show why animals flop around after a brain shot. These animals were dead before they hit the ground. If you don't like this sort of video, then please do not watch it. For this video, I'll be using my 22 caliber Benjamin Marauder that is Huma regulated with a Marmot Militia hammer forged barrel tuned for 29 foot pounds of energy. And I'll be shooting the 18 grain JSBs at 850 feet per second. This shot seems a little wobbly because I wasn't set up yet. I had to lean against the uh, door to my bathroom, but I still made a fairly decent shot on him and he uh, did not go far. I never get rabbits in my backyard during hunting season. Uh, this was before hunting season started, so no, I do not shoot the rabbit. Put a new bird feeder up in the backyard. I have it over the 20-yard uh, compost pile, uh, hopefully to pop some house sparrows, but I haven't seen any yet. Now it's hunting season, and the squirrels are not getting a pass anymore. Uh, with this shot, you can see just how precise this Benjamin Marauder really is. Got another chipmunk, and you know I can't handle those in my backyard. They do a lot of damage to the shed. Uh, this one's to demonstrate why I don't do much slow motion video anymore. The video quality isn't the greatest, because I don't have very much sunlight in my backyard like I did at the old house. Uh, if I can get a bright sunny day, I might do some more slow motion, but it's going to be on hold for a while until I do get that bright sunny day. I took a screenshot of this video and I put the picture on Facebook and asked you guys which one did I shoot, the chipmunk or the squirrel. I ended up shooting the chipmunk because I don't get very many opportunities to take a shot. I see them all the time, but by the time I get my gun out, they're gone. So I shot the chipmunk. For this shot, I wasn't set up all the way yet, didn't have the uh, table or uh, rest out. So I opened up the back door to my bathroom and was leaning up against the door frame trying to get a decent shot. Uh, I'll warn you right now that I do not take a very good shot on this squirrel. Uh, I'm pretty disappointed in myself, but I did just graze him. I didn't injure him. And he did come back right here where I was when I was all set up. And as you can see, I made sure to take a good shot on him. I really love it when they look directly at me for the shot. I, it's hard to make a bad shot when they do that. I 
Yep, that guy just matrixed me. But he did make the mistake of coming back again. No, you seen that right. I got matrixed by the same squirrel twice in a row. But luckily, again, he came back a third time. And I don't miss this time. No, I don't shoot the dove. Uh, there is no dove season in Michigan. But the squirrel kept coming in and out of the 20-yard uh, compost pile, so I figured I'd film the bird for a little bit until the squirrel came back. Because he wouldn't stop moving around, I decided to take a heart-long shot, and I uh, must have made an excellent shot because that's where he lay. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, as always, you can follow me on Facebook where you can see a lot of behind the scenes stuff that I do. I do have a 30 caliber smooth twist X barrel for the impact, so there's gonna be videos to come and the BT is making a return. The BT-65 will be put head to head against the FX impact 25 cal. Then I will retune it for the 30 caliber barrel and blast some more squirrels. Thanks again for watching.